afternoon everyone. It is about two o'clock in the afternoon, but we wanted to get started on the trusses if we can. Last night, it was late afternoon, Eddie and I came out and we tried to put a truss up. We were told that they're 250 pounds, so we figured, you know, how hard can it be to lift one end and then go down to the other side and lift the other end? Well, that's as far as we got it. It's upside down but it's resting on top of some girts and it's it's clamped to the column up there and it's roped off because we didn't want it to fall overnight. So that was as far as we could get it. It is way too heavy. So we decided we're gonna have to do something different and we can't just not build the house. So we went to town this morning and we picked up something that's gonna help us. You wanna see it? Ta-da! So we went to town to a, an equipment rental place and they told us a lot of people use this to set trusses. So that's what we're gonna try to use. The boom goes out 42 feet, so that's plenty long enough. All we have to do is hook a chain to the forks in the front and a chain to the peak of the truss. We'll lift it up over the wall and then once we get it in there, we'll have to spin it and hopefully set it down in post where it goes. That's the plan. We're gonna have to wait and see if it works out as easily as we're hoping it will. It is windy today, so I don't know. We wanna take it easy. We don't want any accidents to happen. And it's a little bit windy, so we're gonna be careful. Even if we don't get them all done today, we have the machine until Tuesday because today is Saturday. They're closed on Sunday and they're closed on Monday for Memorial Day. So we got lucky. We rented it for one day and got it for four. So let's see what we can get done with it. I'm a dummy. Today's not Saturday, today's Friday. So we have it for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And they may come pick it up Tuesday. They did tell us that they might not make it until Wednesday, but I was wrong. Today's Friday, not Saturday. Well, it's gonna take some doing get these all hooked up first a lot of finagling things around moving stuff around getting it all hooked up and then we'll be ready to try putting up the first one how are we attaching them up there nails too. nails and bolts we'll have each one is going to have a bolt Keep that centered. How are we gonna keep the chain centered on the thing up there? It's locked in that one spot. That's what we just did. It's gonna go like this, honey? Yeah. It wasn't windy out here. 
little bit slow going, but we're gonna get it. All right, guys, we got the first truss up. I had to shut the camera off. It was a lot of doing, a lot of things to do on that first one, and I could not hold the camera and stay safe up there. I did put on a harness and tie off. We are industrial insulators, so we know about tying off and being safe. But I had to shut the camera off because I had to be safe and I had to pay attention to what I was doing. But let me show you what I did do. Okay, so there's the first truss and on these end trusses, they got a through bolt over here along with a bunch, a whole bunch of nails. And then the next three posts have an inner two by six that goes all the way to the top of the truss and it's nailed all the way down through there on all three of those. A through bolt again on the other end. So it's starting to look like a house that has one truss on it. So we're going to try to get one more truss done tonight. It's about 430. So we're going to try to get one more done tonight and then we'll pick it up tomorrow. I'm just going to set the camera down and hope that you guys can see something because I really need to pay attention to what I'm doing while I'm on the wall.